So where we last left off in the previous video, we just finished making bilinear interpolation, which gave us this, and then um, changing these from linear to smooth step or smoother step will give us um, the respective interpolation for smooth step and smoother step. So now the idea is that we're going to try and repeat all of these um, interpolations across the plane in smaller steps which is going to give us our noise texture so first we need to get a tiling or repetition going so let's use the vector map and set it to fraction so right now it's bugging out because at the edges it isn't that sure so let's also add in a scale node maybe set the scale to something like um, four The other problem is that um, the transitions are way too strong because there's a sharp corner. So I'm just going to remove the displacement for now and maybe um, set it to Eevee. That way it will be less intensive. So you can see that currently it's just repeating the same pattern all over again. And the value at this corner for this square does not match with this corner, this corner, or this corner. So we actually want this value to be the same for those four corners. And that's where we're going to need um, some kind of way to assign random values to each corner. And then we'll use that random value instead of these A, B, C, D. So what we can do is um, duplicate this and change it to a subtract and then we take this and we subtract um, the fraction which will give us um, floor then we can use this as an index for the um, white noise texture so we'll add a texture white noise we'll you just use the value and this will give us a height at each corner now for each square there are four corners so we're going to need to duplicate this four times and then offset it to get to the four corners so um, let's do that but first to add in a separate XYZ and also add in a converter combine XYZ and the reason I'm doing this is because um, we're going to need the X and Y separately and now we can use the Z value as a seed to get um, different noise textures so we can um, add in an input value node, plug this into the Z, and then we can rename this to seed. So as you can see, as we change the seed, um, the values change. Now this seed obviously has to be the same for um, four times that we duplicate this. Um, wait, sorry. I don't know why I did it like that. I just need to duplicate these. Actually, we don't need these even. So, um, let's select everything here. Move it to along the x-axis to give a bit more space. And now we need to offset them so we can add in the math node. So again, convert our math. And then adding one each time. So let's hide this because we're going to need it a lot. So let's take the X and we add one, plug it into here and then just leave the Y unchanged. 
it could be our first one for the second one um, let's just put the X into there and then um, add one to the Y so now we've offset along the Y axis so you can imagine if this is the corner first we're offsetting along the X axis this will give you this corner then we're offsetting along the Y axis which will give us this corner and if we offset along the X and Y then we'll get this corner so let's duplicate both of these math nodes and then select the Y and then finally just connect the seed so if you look at these they're basically the same thing so maybe I should increase the scale to something like 10 so it will be more obvious you can see that it really is just moving it to the side or down and so forth so now we can um, replace these values so let's plug the first one into here second one into there third one into there and final one here and if we now look at the result all of a sudden the corners are matching and we get a nice noise texture so maybe just looking at the gray value it's not that obvious the reason is because um, I rescaled it here but I can just remove this now you can clearly see the noise texture but you can still identify the um, squares because of the sharp edges so for example if I now plug this into the displacement and then switch it back to cycles you can see that um, these edges are really sharp so let's add back the color and to get rid of these sharp edges this is where we um, can switch to smooth step for example and you can see that now those sharp edges are gone and it will be less obvious if you just look at the top view where exactly the corners start and end but you can still some see a bit so we can add the smoother step to make it really smoothed out and there we go that's our noise texture